Hello everyone, this is Onita again. And in this video we're going to see how to configure Xfire to work with the Missa Pandaria beta test. Uh, the previous video I put up, it did not work for some people. So I'm going to try it again with a fresh install. I removed Xfire from my system last night. I reinstalled it this morning and I haven't used it yet. So we're going to start from scratch and see what happens. This is going to be a little bit different than the previous video you've seen. Uh, at the start, we're going to go to Control Panel, our Appearances folder, Folder Options, and then under the View tab, we're going to select to show all folders and files. Once this is selected, you can hit Apply. Okay, so we can go ahead and close out of this. Next, you'll want to go to Computer. And down to your Program Data File. And then scroll to the bottom to your Xfire folder. And the file that we are going to edit is xfiregames.ini. It's your configuration settings for Xfire. So we're going to go ahead and open this in Notepad. Okay, so here's our file here. We're going to do this a little bit different than we did in the last video. So go down to Edit and Find, and in the box, type in World of Warcraft. Okay, what you're looking at here is the Xfire data for the regular World of Warcraft client. It's broken down into two entries, uh, 4216-1 and or underscore 1 and 2. One is for wow slash 64.exe, and the other is for wow.exe. So we're going to copy all of this information, just copy it out, and then we're going to go back up to edit and find and type in 5506. The first time we hit enter, we'll be back here at TMNT, so just hit enter one more time. Okay, when we find 5506 in our brackets, this is our Xfire data for the Wrath of the Lich King beta. It's not what we need, so we're going to select all that and paste in the information that we copied. Okay, now we're going to make a few changes here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out this 4216 underscore 1, so you just wipe that out. And we're going to add an underscore 1 to 5506. Down here, we're going to change this also so that it reads 5506 underscore 2. So we have 5506 underscore 1 and 2. Okay, for our long name, this is the name that will appear in the Xfire client. We're just going to add Mist of Pandaria Beta. And for your short name, we're just going to, it's the WOW MOP. And then we're going to copy both of these lines out of one and paste it into two. You can just overwrite that. Last time we changed this file path. We're not going to do that this time. We don't need to change this either. We do need to change the launcher.exe file name because it's different for the beta. So we're going to enter World of Warcraft beta launcher. I made a mistake here. Make sure to capitalize your B. And you'll want capitalization in the first letter of World, Warcraft, beta, and launcher. And of can remain in both small letters. So go ahead and copy out this line. We're going to copy it and paste it into 5506 underscore 2. Okay. We need to change our DX renderer from uh, DirectX 11 to 9. This line that I'm changing, it's the wrong one. Don't change this one. It's actually this one you want to change. Put that to 0 change that to 1 and do the same here. Okay, 
Now you can go ahead and save this file. So once your render is set to DirectX 9, go ahead and save. Now, Xfire will occasionally download updates. Once you start it, it will do this automatically. So what it will do when it downloads these updates is that it will overwrite this file. So go ahead and save a copy. And we can use this information later without having to restart from scratch when the update does come in. Our initialization file is, it, we changed it to how we need it to work. Now we're going to go ahead and start Xfire. Uh, once you start it, it will direct your installed games. Go ahead and let it finish this step. The Misopandaria beta will probably already appear in your games list. Don't launch it yet. We need to make a couple more changes. So over here to Tools, and then to Options, and then to the upper right tab for Games. It will detect your installed games one more time. Alright, so we're showing World of Warcraft Mr. Pandaria beta in our installed games list. If you don't see it, check the installed games list. Uh, it will show up in your installed games once we get through with these next few steps. So when you first look at this, uh, you may see automatic detection. We're going to change this to manually detect, or manual detect. And we're going to click on browse to make sure that our beta launcher and the game client are both showing. So here, uh, this is under your Program Files 86 folder and your World of Warcraft beta folder. Here's our uh, Find an Executable used to launch the game. So this is our launcher here. And that's going to ask us to find an executable used to uh, detect the game running. And it will be one of the two executables for the game itself. Here under Advanced Options, uh, we have our ability to add a command line. We don't want to do that. Just leave it blank. We don't want to check this box. Leave that open. Uh, under our in-game render, uh, we want to make sure that D3D9 is selected and not D3D11. If we run with the 11, Xfire will not work with the beta. Okay, so now we should all be configured to play. We're going to come down here to the bottom of our list and launch. Okay, so right away, uh, our, here's our launcher. We're going to go ahead and hit click. We're going to go ahead and click play, and then once we do that, our login screen will come up, and Xfire will load into the bottom right corner. Once you see it connect, you will now be able to log into your game client, and you will be able to record footage from the Missa Pandaria beta. Uh, it's a couple of steps to remember. Do back up your uh, Xfire INI file and do run this entire process in DirectX 9, since Direct, DirectX 11 will not work. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it educational. If so, please like and subscribe. This is Onita. Have a good day.